Shelley Hallsberg is a clairvoyant, medium, pet psychic, and tarot reader. She does not ask for the details about your life, but primarily relies on her gift of clairvoyance to receive the psychic insights that will be the most helpful to you about your soulmate, relationships, money concerns, and your career path. As a pet psychic, she will receive insights about what your pet or pets wants you to know. As a medium, she will connect with your loved ones on the other side. Shelley Hoffberg is the host of the Psychic Horizon radio show, produced by Goldilocks Productions and presented on Blog Talk Radio, Thursdays at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Shelley brings together the pioneers and visionary teachers to share with you some of the most enlightening knowledge that is out there today to expand your horizons and open the path to higher consciousness. Welcome to the Psychic Horizon Show. I'm your host, Psychic Shelley Hoffberg, and today's special guest is Terry Lynn Cansey, who will be talking about astrology and the tarot and doing uh, tarot astrology readings for you. And before I bring on Terry Lynn, uh, I just want to make some quick announcements that Christine Corston will be my guest next week talking about psychic art. And numerologist, psychic, Jeremy Ryden will be my guest May 11th. He's the author of Your Soul Story, How to Create the Life You Always Wanted, and The Quest, Quest Method, Your Intuitive Destiny Guide. And on May 18th is Brian Rawls, uh, he's the host of the Magical Journey radio show that comes on Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And this coming Saturday, Terry Lynn Cansey and myself will be at the School of Multidimensional Healing and Science doing psychic readings at their psychic fair from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Come and meet us. And on May 13th, I'll be at the Learning Light Foundation Psychic Fair in Irvine uh, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. I'm now ready to bring on my guest, Terry Lynn Cansey. Hello, Terry Lynn. Hello, Shelley, and how are you doing? I'm doing fine. How about yourself? Very, very well. Thank you so much. It's been fun and interesting lately for now that the season is getting to be more like summer. Yes, it's going to be nice weather now. I think so. And can you tell the callers a little bit about yourself, Terry Lynn? Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Terry Lynn Can See. I'm a psychic tarot reader. I'm also an astrologer, and I'm a lecturer. And I would be able to be reached at 1-800-251-3754 at the website of Terry, T-E-R-I, Lynn, L-Y-N-N, Can See, C-A-N-S-E-E, of O-F-T-L-C dot com. That's my company, TLC, Terry Lynn Kansi. Give me a call, and I am a psychic, and boy, how long have I done this? Probably you could say most of my life, but when I became professional, if you will, was about, oh, maybe 25 years ago, where I actually found Put Up or Shut Up, and I so I put up, found out I had the talent, and I now do it. Prior to that, I was in the corporate world, which I thoroughly enjoyed as well. If you want to be able to see what kind of skills I have and what I teach, please stay tuned because Shelley and I are going to be doing that today. Yes, and Terry, what is the astrology of the 12 signs and houses? Okay, for you out there, each of you say to yourself, what's my astrology sign? I want you to do that because that's the first thing that you can recognize. There's 12 signs out there. There's 12 houses. And there's 12 signs that belong to each other. Each house, each sign represents an energy. 
And as you learn what each sign means, what each house really honestly represents, that's that's the goal of knowing what astrology is all about. What do these houses, what do these signs represent? So if you look at the signs, there's 12 of them. There's Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. I called everybody out there one time. Those are the 12 signs that can take up the sign of a year. Each of these signs have qualities. No different than your body and your being. You're a man, you're a woman, or you're transgender. doesn't matter. You have qualities that represent certain information. Dark hair, light hair, different color eyes, different color skin. These are qualities that you carry as a person. You were born at a particular time. You were born in a particular place. Longitude, latitude, particular time, the clock. This gives you your astrology will to look at with these 12 signs, one of the 12 signs. The fun thing, and that's what this is all about to me, it's fun. Um, I believe it was Plato said, be, uh, be true to yourself, know yourself, know thyself. This is a way of understanding your gifts. And today I'm going to be talking on and off about different attributes of astrology, but one of them is going to be our celebrity empire builder and president of the United States, Donald Trump. We're going to talk about different things, and we're going to pull him in to see where his different things meet up with understanding of these things. So you might understand of the 12 signs, our friend here and our president of the United States is a Gemini. He's second deacon Gemini. So he's ruled, his Gemini is ruled by another ruler, not Gemini. It is ruled by the second aspect of air. And we're going to get into the elements next, I believe. But that means that his sign, Gemini, is not only an air sign, but it also is a separate aspect of an air sign. And that is Libra, putting things in balance. Gemini, what does Gemini represent? Thinking, quick mind, somebody smart, fast, funny, fun. Sometimes they move and slip around so quickly you almost can't get them. Make good jugglers, make good orators. This is what we're going to see why these signs are good to know. We're going to use Mr. Trump as part of our knowing these signs. So we've got 12 signs. Each sign is also a house. What is a house? A house is that which you dwell in. Our president was born in a house of wealth. He stayed in a house of wealth. He's in the best house there is, the White House, because to him, as a privileged child, he never recognized what poverty really meant. He just took a house that made it comfortable for him to live in. He's a cancer. It's my home. I live like this, and I shall always live like this. He can't imagine living less or differently. So that is his walking in with cancer. I can make my home. Well, cancer also rules real estate. What is he? He's that fabulous empire builder. Real estate, Donald Trump. So let's take a look at the signs and see what you could be in them. I'm going to give you key words for each sign. If you can get a pencil and a paper, you might want to write these down. So if somebody says, oh, well, I'm a Capricorn, you have a key word, boom. Right now you understand things easy. Aries, I am. Taurus, I have. Gemini, I think. Cancer, I feel. Right there. Gemini and Cancer, very heavy planets for our president of the United States. Leo, I will. The Prez has got quite a bit of that, too. Then you go into Virgo, I analyze. Libra, I'll balance. Scorpio, I desire. Sagittarius, I see. Capricorn, I use. Aquarius, I know. Pisces, I believe. Those are the keynotes of the 12 signs of the zodiac. So somebody says there's something, you can mentally in your head go, oh, that person is I balance. They're in balance. They have to have balance. Balance is important for them, and they're a Libra. 
the houses have the same propensity. If it is a house that says Gemini, I think, the house will probably have a lot of books around, a lot of different type of articles, uh, possible trinkets. It's a house thinking, figuring things out. Could be quick, fast, in, out, clean, clear, but it also means it has trinkets or things that remind them of their life. That's what a house is. It gives you the attributes of the sign. And then the sign gives you the element of its presence. It's really fun when you get to put them together. Do a family dynamic, mom, dad, kids, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa. It, it can get really fun and exciting. If you do want your chart done, don't worry. I have a, on, I have a 32 to 5, 35 page chart that I will be able to give to you and you can buy on my website. But I also give a 15-minute free reading for you, unless you don't want one. And that's okay. Some people say, no, let's let me read it first. So that's what it, there are in astrology of the signs and the houses and how they interplay. Now, the next subject, I believe, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, please, Shelley, we're going to be doing the elements and the importance of them? Yes. Is there anybody we're going to be doing readings for? Yes, uh, we're going to. Our first caller is Harry Code seven two zero. Hello, seven two zero. Yes, yes. Hello. And who Hi. do we have the pleasure of speaking to? And my my name is Laura. Hello, Laura. And Laura, what is your question today? Um. So my husband's getting a promotion, and either it's going to keep us where we are, or it's going to move us. And I'm just wondering um, where that would be if we're going to move, and then the timeline. Sounds good to me. May I ask what your astrology sign is and your husband? Sagitt- he's a Sagitt- I'm so Sagittarius. He's a Leo. He's a Leo. He's the fire sign. Okay. Let's take a peek. And so and am I. what's going on. Say what? So am I. Oh, you're, you're a Leo. Oh, you both are Leos? No, no, no. He's a Leo. I'm a Sagittarius. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. And Sag, you're going through things right now. Saturn's been transiting you. So you're up for changes so that the betterment of your life can keep going forward because it's not been easy for you making decisions because life is saying, are you sure you want to do this? Are you really ready for this? And it's been like, oh, it's not fun sometimes. But let's take a peek and see if indeed you are going to be moving and your your husband's going to be moving. I use tarot cards for time, place, circumstance, but I need you to tell me when to cut the cards. I will request two cuts. First cut, ready when you are. Okay, now. Got it. Next cut, ready when you are. Now. Got it. Let's see what we got, sis. Okay. Well, I got you and your husband right there. Good thing you guys have uh, good communication skills. Stability and money are going to come in, are coming for you. Yes, you both are going to be taking off. And how far? Does he have to study where he is? I'm not study, but is he, is he getting trained from it here before he would leave? Um, he would, would he have stay some here? Time. And, yes. He would have some time in which, yes. Yes, okay, good. Cause I have so time we wouldn't have to move right decision. away. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Um, that consideration will be after he does the job he's walking into a really challenging position and it's going to be quite interesting for him he is going to be making new friends and people he likes that Uh, but he does like what he's doing but from what i can see here the changes are going to take place and it won't be right away but you will both have that answer in august and it looks favorable you don't you are leaving you're leaving people behind though you have made some good friends where you are Yes. But I do see you guys taking off. So what time and, frame? And uh, by August, you'll have that on answer for full, and it looks to me like you'll know where within the next couple of months. And okay. you have to travel over water, it looks like to me. Shelley, huh. would you like to help her out in some areas that you can see yes. for her? Is one of the locations of this company in Texas? Um, 
Yes, one of them is. Because I feel you may you may move to Texas, but I feel that it's going to be a move in a positive direction that you and your husband are going to like Texas. You're going to like living there. That it's a nice community. There's nice people. It's a beautiful place. I see you liking it. So I feel it's very possible that you and your husband uh, could end up moving to Texas in the next two to three months is when the move is going to take place. I agree with Terry Lynn. He's getting training for the new position. It's a new position for him, um, a promotion, and I feel that he's going to like the new position that he's going to be taking over and that he's going to thrive and do well in the new position, that he's going to be very successful, and he, and I feel that there's long-term employment in this company, that this is a good company uh, for him to work for, and this is a better job opportunity for him than the job that he has now. It's a better opportunity. So I do see a move, and but I'm picking up very strongly that it possibly could end up being uh, Texas. And Terry Lynn, how can Laura get in contact with you? Laura, if you'd like some further elucidation on the the environment, et cetera, for you and your husband, uh, you can reach me at 1-800-251-3754. Tell me the date and the time you'd like to get together, and I tell you my schedule, and together we bring it into place. If you'd like a tarot uh, reading, that would be there. If you want an astrology chart, for you, your husband, and the potential move that you are going to take, and once you're told, we could put that together as well to see the nuances of it. So that's how you can get a hold of me at my website, Terry Lynn Can See of TLC dot com. And you could get okay. a hold of me and you could get a hold of me, Laura, at eight one eight seven four four five two four one or go to psychichorizon dot com. And thank you for calling the Psychic Horizon Show, Laura. Thank you. I'm now going to continue my interview with Terry Lynn Cansey on tarot and astrology. And then I'm going to take, we're going to take our next caller, which is area code 443. Uh, Terry, Terry, why are the elements important? Thank you for asking that good question. Why? Because the elements give you the essence of what it is you're working with. You've got four elements that you're going to have to consider. Water, air, earth, and fire. When you think of fire, you think of a fireplace or a fire burning, something that's a live fire. Well, that's called an element as well, and it is a high burning energy. We carry fire within us, and if you say, how do you see that? Get mad. There's an energy that burns, and it can really flame if you get a hot temper going. That is the quality that we elicit from fire. It's also passion. If you've ever met somebody and boom, there was a big hit, that's a passion feeling. That's fire. That's burning. That's going. If you find yourself mad, temper can't control it. That's fire. That's burning. So there's different attributes in elements of fire. Water, how depthful. Take a cancer. It likes to go to the bottom, sit and get comfortable and see what it's doing and how it's doing. Take our President Trump. He is a cancer. He likes his office so well they say they can't even get him out. Why? Because that's comfortable. He's got a responsibility. He gets to do the thing he loves to do. He likes to be able to work and work out of an environment that's prestigious. How nice does nicely does the White House fit for him? It appears he doesn't like to leave. So he's happy. He's quite quite at home, very comfortable there. So there's can- a cancer uh, being in its sand and wanting to settle in there so it can observe what it's doing. Take a Scorpio. Scorpios come down using Mars energy of water and go swimming through it. They they go through it. They glide through it. They are in it, but they don't go down like a, a cancer all the way down and then burrow in. They go down, take a look around, and bounce back up and come back up. And a Pisces, real nice and slow, likes to come in, assume, look at everything, do whatever. See the bottom, lay down there a bit, get back up and come back up in. So it's different qualities of water. Air, 
Hello, tornado. Hello, cool breeze. There are different attributes in air also. So think of all the air attributes that you have. And out of astrology, you've got three signs. They call them the triplicities. There's three fire, there's three earth, there's three air, and there's three water. And that adds up to 12. So of the triplicities, you look at the difference of each of them, the fire, the water, the air, the earth, and imagine the different ways that you can see that element working. If you do get that, that's when you get to understand that Scorpio that you're working with or that Leo that you're talking to or that Sagittarius that you've got going there. These are the qualities that you're looking at when you're speaking to somebody. It's from your mother, your family, your friends, a new business associate. It's helpful to understand that temperament, that element, so that you can work with it. Whereas like our president being a cancer, he just he's at home, but his Gemini, his Gemini is in his 10th house of career, stature, reputation, honors. That's what 10th house is all about. And, you know, you figure those are qualities that he has that are sitting there in the 10th house with his son. So he's in a position that he was, quote, born to be in. Suddenly his destiny took took place. He thought it was being a a mega builder and an entrepreneur and new age TV guy. He was all supposed to be the president of the United States. Now what is he supposed to do with it? There's the elements at play. He gets to work with all of these elements to fine tune it to meet his need to be a leader and set goals. That's what you get to do. You get to take your sign, your element, and work with all of these other elements, these other signs, to get the best for them as for you. That's why these little quip statements like do unto others as you would have them do unto you as you would want to be treated. If that's true, you best be good to the other guy because if you mess with them, they're going to mess with you. And like, for example, the other day I met a guy, Leo, what a personality, dynamic, etc., slippery, slidey all over the place. I saw Gemini at work. Wonderful guy said he'd do this thing, do that, whatever, and he ended up being a scam. But his art of being a scam was so colorful that you almost forgot you were getting screwed. That's how colorful he was. That is when you are in a – but he's a scam guy. He's not a president of the United States. That's where our president of the United States takes that potential to scam and knows how to read it faster than most people. Because he doesn't look, dwell there. He doesn't stay there. He come, goes up to the higher qualities. Now, here's the thing about elements. They all are possessed in a house and a sign. So when your sign is in a house, look at the element of that house because it might not be complementary to your son's sign, but it is complementary to what your son's sign needs to understand. We're not just here. To be happy, totally, we have to learn. Why do we have to learn? There is more in heaven and earth, oh, ho, oh, oh, shio, than you have ever found. This is just one dimension of our understanding. We've got, well, we've got a lot. Let's put it that way. There's more dimensions than what we're looking at. And we're beginning to recognize the fourth dimension. On, I'll just, actually, I believe did that wrote a book about the fourth dimension it is understood we know it's there and there when they get there they're going to find the fifth sixth seventh eighth and there's much more to go but the body has a limit of dimensionality whereas the spirit the soul the being its dimensional is depending on its awareness is open it's yours you can astral travel mentally you can spiritually fly and ascend and excel. Look at the element you're using to use these tools with. We're here to evolve. We're here to become the best of who we are. And that's what this is all about, figuring out how to make ourselves become the best of who we are for our chosen journey here on this earth. And the elements are very helpful in understanding that. Let's take our next caller, Terry. That was very enlightening. Uh, area code 443. Hello, 443. 
Hi, it's Kathy. How are you? Uh, we're fine. How are you, Kathy? Good. Hey, Kathy. Hi, Gary. So my and question Kathy. would be about um, leaving this job. Okay, Kathy, you're saying, should I leave my job, or are you saying, I am going to leave my job, and if I do leave my job, what's going to happen? Yeah, more like retirement. Gotcha, retirement. Okay, Kathy, what's your astrology sign, please? It's Terry. <laughs> wonderful Sag, yes, you would be asking t- Saturn. It's transiting you wonderful Sages right now and requiring you to ask yourself some really serious questions. Let's take a peek and see if indeed... When you do retire, if you are going to get to retire, and how things are going to appear to be. I use tarot cards, as you know. Please tell me when to cut. I am ready when you are. Cut. Got it. Next cut, ready when you are. Cut. Got it. Let's see what we got for you, sis. Oh, you're so ready to retire or change, it's not even funny. You still hear a very high quality about what you do and how you do it, though. You're good at your job. You are ready to change. You're ready to take the, a different path. You want to be much more happy. You want to walk away from the environment. June, this coming June, things are going to be put in balance for you. What's coming up in June? Are you coming up for any changes or something coming up this June that you've got prepared or know about? No, but uh, I've been on my spiritual path, and I heard things were going to change change around August. So. Okay. That wouldn't surprise me. Between June, July, and August, I have those kind of changes in place for you. So I would have to say, yes, you are. There, you are going to definitely walk away and make some changes. Are they in your best interest so far from what I can see? Yes. They are, it's a wise time for you to make those changes. Your world's up for it anyway, so you're really fulfilling yourself. You're, what are you studying? What are you learning? Oh, all kinds of things. Uh, I read a lot of books. I'm going to take Doreen Virtue's um, angel card class. Um, I just okay. Went to so numer- that's numerology. That's the school that you're going to do. Yeah. Good. Good. No, keep doing it. Good schooling. You're you're mentally quick, and you also have a uh, one study is coming up. You're really going to find it hard at first, and then you're going to get a hold of it, and it's going to help you a great deal in your spiritual works and advancement. Keep going. You're doing a good job. You know what it is? What class? What uh, class? It looks to me like it's the one of, uh, it has communications to it, and it also has, ex- are you doing healings of Reiki, Reiki or something like that? I've already taken Reiki. but uh, Okay, now, so you, you use know, that as- yeah. I okay, do you've already taken. Are you going to use that talent in your in what it is you're proceeding to go to? Um, I'm thinking about it, but I'm I thought there would be another kind of healing modality. There might be because I have three on the table. One that you already have in hand, and that's the Reiki, I guess, Reiki. And I've got three others that are coming forward that you can incorporate with that talent, mm-hmm. and you will you will have your answer next month. April, May, in May, you'll have your answer in May, what it is to combine those elements together to create the, the, the package of idea that you've got. Okay. Wow. So study, Sounds keep good. studying. You're, you're in the right place. You're doing the right thing. Your work in itself is coming up for changes, physical work, and you're ready to try new things. Go for it. Because June looks to me like you're going to try to definitely make financial advancements. See more money in your pocket, literally, is what okay. I see. Mm. Shelly. Uh-huh. Shelly? I, th- I agree with Terry that June is kind of a major uh, turning point for you, a major month. And I feel in June you would have made a decision about when you're going to retire. And it looks like that retirement is going to happen this year before September, before the fall time. That's going to happen sometime in the spring or summer that you are going to retire. And I feel the things that you're studying, the psychic stuff and the healing stuff, that you're going to be utilizing that. When you retire, you're going to be working with clients, doing healings and doing readings. 
because that Doreen Virtue is a good teacher, so you'll do very well with angel car readings and be able to do that for people. You know, you'll get the proper training. So I feel whatever it is you're you're learning now, you're going to be utilizing your skills, your newfound skills in the future, doing readings and healings. And I feel you'll be doing it out of your home, that you'll have a room set up for readings and healings in your home. And so I feel that that's coming up for you in the future. And Terry Lynn, how can Kathy get in contact with you? Kathy, I can be reached at 1-800-251-3754. Or please go to my website, www.terryteri.com. Lynn, L-Y-N-N, can see, C-A-N-S-E-E, of O-F-T-L-C dot com. We can talk then and go into further depth of your retirement and these new opportunities that are pursuing you mentally and emotionally and spiritually. Great. Thank you. And, Kathy, you mm-hmm. can get a hold of me at 818-744-5241 or go to psychichorizon.com. And thank you for calling the Psychic Horizon Show, Kathy. Thank you. We're now going to continue our interview with Terry Lynn Cansey on the tarot and astrology. And then we're going to take our next caller, which is area code uh, 201. How do you use the tarot cards, Terry Lynn? I beg your pardon? How do you use the tarot cards, Terry Lynn? Oh, how do I use the tarot cards? I found them to be fine tuners for me. Imagine you're on a freeway and you know you you want to go certain places. You get to select, should I take the 405? Should I take the 710? Should I take the 110? You get to understand freeways to get to places faster, more quickly, hopefully, or you should have stayed on the, the slow path of the road. Well, I do the same thing with the tarot cards. They tell me and show me which freeway to pick up, which corner to turn, which op, which situations are coming forward. That's how I read the tarot cards. So for other people who say, I, I pick up my cards, what do I do with them? What deck do I pick kind of a thing? There's over 250 tarot cards out there, and there's that's a lot. So you have to ask yourself, and here's where astrology actually plays in. You can take a look at yourself and say, gee, I'm a lot more air than I am water or my my greater strength comes from fire wherever wherever your planets lie in the most planets you have the most elements you have how they interact with each other gives you a better sense of what kind of cards would be best suited for you to pick to become divinating instruments for yourself and my recommendation is get to know yourself because when you pick the cards you allow it to choose wisely for you and that is the key on that door choose wisely you may pick a deck that makes you feel good but you can't read it i have to to give an example of that i have a deck of cards that uh they're beautiful oh my god voyager they're voyager cards if you've ever seen them they're magnificent i couldn't read them if my life depended on it they don't fit me but they are beautiful cards and i love them girlfriend of mine, she picks them a car and they tell her everything that she needs to know to be a reader. So it's the card that makes you feel, I can read, I can feel, I can intuit. That's the deck that you would want to pick. Using astrology, as I say, the sun sign, is that enough? No. But it is still part of the pie of the 12 pieces and the element that will give me a helpful understanding of the tools that this individual has to use to help their life on its path. And Terry Lynn, let's take our next caller, which is area code 201. Hello, 201. Hello, 201. 201, let's go to another caller. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who do we have the pleasure of speaking to? This is Maria. Hello, Maria. And Maria, Hi. what is your question? Well, I've been working on it. I'm kind of concerned about my finances. I've been working 
on a temp position for a while, and I was wondering if you see them hiring me permanent, and also if you see any unexpected cash coming, because I'm very concerned. Okay. Let's do take a peek at that. May I ask, what's your astrology sign? I'm a Sagittarius. Uh huh. Saturn's transiting you. Yep. Limitations and how to get out of them. Let's take a peek and see what options we have on the table. I do use tarot cards. You need to tell me when to cut. Cut number one, ready when you are. Cut. Got it. Next cut, ready when you are. Cut. Got it. Let's take a peek and see what we got, sis. Ooh, frustration. Too much frustration. You've got to release some of that. It's too heavy for you, baby. Uh, we've got here new opportunities are going to be proposing themselves to you. Who is this man that hurt your heart? Is he gone? Uh, I'm trying to distance myself from him. Oh, keep trying, baby, because it's not working real, real well. Uh, that's causing you added stress on the financial stress, on the emotional stress. It's too much, too much, too much. You're a Sagittarius, you're a fire. Burn it so that you don't have to carry it so heavy. Mm-hmm. I have opportunity being extended to you to change money. It, it's money, but you're still juggling it. You still have to maintain your budget, but it's money is going to be coming in. And it looks to me between May and June you're going to see that change coming forward. Our Are you going to step up into a permanent job? It appears as though one is going to be extended to you. Is the one you have? I don't put my finger on that exactly, but I do have a job coming through that appears to be offering you financial stability. So are you going through an agency, an employment agency? Yes. Okay. Are you planning on going to another one, or are you staying with the one you've got? No, I'm hoping that they hire me where I am now. I really like it here. Well, it looks to me like you've got that opportunity more so than any other because I have an agency here, and they could send you elsewhere, but they really didn't want to, and you are happy there. So it looks to me like, like, yeah, I have here August. Between now and August, it could happen tomorrow because I see it now, but August you're really in a good place. It's like... You're too happy to be financially struggling like this, and you're also allowing yourself to release yourself of the burdens of the ex. Whoever he is, whatever he is, he's too much to carry. Let him go. Okay. Emotionally. And in August, you will see your opportunities advancing and increasing, and so is money. So are you going to get out of it? Yes. How soon? looks anywhere between now and August is what I have. And yes, you will be released. Thank God. Wow, thank you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, Shelly? Uh, Maria, I feel that there is a job coming up as beginning to June, July, August. Uh, it may be the, the company that you're currently employed at. Um, they're happy with your progress. You've made a lot of progress since you've uh, taken this temp position, you're uh, the type of employee that they want. You're doing an excellent job, you know, so you're in good standings with this company. And I feel that there would be an opening, a job opening coming up in June, July, August. It may be a different position than the position you're doing now that opens up in July, June, July, August. You know, but it is within this company um, that you're going to get employed. So I do see a job coming up for you. Uh, Money will improve at that time. So April, May, you really have to watch your money. Money is going to be tight, but as we get into June, your money will start to improve in June time. So just watch your money really closely for April, May. And... um, and then, you know, in June time, you won't have to worry about money. There'll be, an, you know, an increase in your financial resources uh, coming up for you. And, Terry Lynn, how can Marie get in contact with you? Marie, give me a buzz at 1-800-251-3754. We'll set up an appointment and get 
finer tuned of where you're at, where you're going, and what is being offered in, for your life, because you're up for changes, girl. You're in them anyway. Uh, and go to Terry Lynn Can C of TLC dot com, and that's my website. You can pay there. I have credit card and uh, PayPal capability. And you can get a hold of me at eight one eight seven four four five two four one, or go to psychichorizon dot com. And thank you for calling the Psychic Horizon Show, Maria. Thank you both so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome, dear. Our pleasure. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. We're now going to continue our interview with Terry Lynn Cansey on the tarot and astrology, and then we're going to take our next caller, which is area code uh, 216. Um, which, uh, what are the tarot cards versus astrology, tarot Lynn? Terry Lynn. Okay, well, it, tarot cards are like microcosm. Astrology is macro. It's as above, so below. It's so big, it's vast, it's the sky, and it, it covers you and hovers you. So to me, when I look at astrology, I, it's like having a, a picture folder where you take and open it up and it expands and becomes so much more, but in the beginning you've got two things you're looking at, one on the right hand, one on the left hand, and then you open it up and it expands itself. That's what astrology does. Tarot cards are when they're all folded up, and you take one, you take one out, then the other out. You don't get that fast expanse right away. You're micro. You're in looking at situations that, and how they're going to occur. So when you do look at astrology, my recommendation, because it is so vast when it opens, is to take the wheel, cut it in. 12 little slices there, 12 pieces, and put their Aries, Taurus, Gemini, all 12 of them in their slots with their keynotes. I believe, I am, I have, I feel. Put those under their signs and their element, air, fire, water, and earth. And then when you take your cards and you do a reading, use the wheel as your place with the card. Start it. You can start at your birth date. You can start as the Ascendant, which is Aries, the first card. You can start with the Descendant, which is uh, down at the bottom in the third house, fourth house. You can start where you feel comfortable that says start here because you're going to proceed this way to understand what, like, for example, um, I use Capricorn. Let's say you take a card out that puts you put in the Capricorn sign, I use. What are you going to use with that card? Depends on what the card says. So you take that card that you understand. That's why you're reading those cards. Put it in that house of Capricorn, I use, and look at what you will be using to understand what it is the question you're asking to accomplish the goals. And that card will help you understand. The combined wheel, 12 positions and the cards putting them in those 12 positions again it's all how it fits for you not everybody's the same size not everybody's the same color not everybody's the same sun sign so you want to be able to learn how to make it fit for you because you're the one who's doing the reading you're the one who's asking the question for yourself for others and the situation now, sometimes it's really hard to read yourself. I find it's extremely difficult to read me. I'll get nuances of what's going on, but I can't, get, I can't read like I can read you. I can't read myself like that. That's why I have my friends who are astrologers and or psychic, hello, Shelley, let them read me because I, can, I don't have to get caught up in my own life situation. It's too, too much. I can't read it. And so when you use the deck, the common combined tools, presumably what it will do for you is bring you clarity. If you allow yourself to be a psychic and be tuned in, do know it's not going to be easy because you're reading yourself, and that is not necessarily as easy as it sounds. Reading others, to me, is much, much more easily. Reading myself is very, very, very difficult. I get my way, so to speak. So, At this point, if you're reading to yourself and you don't get in your way, 
then use the wheel and the cards. If you're reading with a friend, let them read you, and you read them to get the understanding of how to make step out of your own world into another person's world. My other recommendation while I'm saying this is please recognize you're using your elemental emotions. Clear them before you walk into anybody's energy and clear them when you walk out of anybody's energy. As an intuitive or a sensitive or an empath, you do use your energies to interpret anger, frustration, excitement, what have you. And if you don't clear, you pile up a lot of energy that has absolutely nothing to do with your life and can mess up with you. It can get you mad for no reason. It can get you depressed for no reason. You say, why am I so sad today? If you didn't clear and you didn't give yourself an, a support system of clearing, you walked into some energies that weren't in your best interest, and you're carrying them, and you don't want to do that. That's part of recognizing we're tuning into a higher vibration, boys and girls, and it is mental, spiritual, emotional, and it's coming together as a family, if you will, and they don't always get along, but they do work together. So learn how to make them work together for you, not against you. Awesome. And Terry Lynn, let's take our next caller, which is Terry Code 216. Hello, 216. Hello. Hello. And here we have... And who do we have the pleasure of speaking to? Hello, my name is Sharon, um, and I'm a Virgo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon. And Sharon, I'll what kind of clarity are you seeking out? <laughs> okay. um, well, my question to you today is I'm trying to change careers, and I just I just had an interview last week. I didn't get that one. I am working. I, you know, I'm interviewing. I'm in, you know lunch hours and stuff. Do you see me being mm-hmm. able to do this? Do you see me finding a new job, new career? Let's take a serious look, my little Virgo. All right, you know the drill. Tell me when to cut the cards. I am ready when you are. Go ahead, cut the cards. Got it. I always need the, the next top last... two, top three. <laughs> no, they... Come on, what were uh, you going to say? Okay, take the next cut, please. Oh, the next, oh. Go ahead, cut it. Got it. Okay, let's take a peek and see what we got for you, sis. Thank you. Well, where you're working right now, the I have here that you part of you doesn't particularly want to go, and the other part of you said, yes, I want to go. Opportunities are coming through the Internet. I have some Internet connectivities yes, coming up. Yes, absolutely. And, <laughs> yeah. And, and, and it looks like a man. Has it been cold for a little while, hard for you to get that warmth c- cooking with the with the job opportunities? Yeah, back in December, oh, my God, I went through two four-hour interviews. I know they were going to hire me. You know how you just have the intuition? The, the recruiter called me. They ended up not hiring anybody. They canceled the whole job itself. I was so mad. That was my oh, dream yeah. job. So since then, I've Did had a Did you let them know you're back? <laughs> Did you let them know yeah, that you're still looking? Yes, yeah, definitely. If it one do comes that. up, uh, yeah, I know. But the one that last week, it was below my skills. I know he's whatever. Just I just haven't yeah. landed the right one yet. How's that? Yeah, exactly. Well, we do have the right one coming up because I have a verbal offer being extended to you, and the timeline I get is it's four up to four months. So where are we? April, May, June, July, August. Between now and August, an opportunity is going to be coming to you by oh. October. You're in balance. You've signed a contract. You Hallelujah. Been... I, oh, my God. I, this has been such a long journey. Go on. Go on. Yeah, no, it's been a frustrating one, too. You can take oh. that frustration, wrap it up in a little ball, and put it away. Because that energy comes oh, across, and you don't even mean to. Just I know. get rid of it. I know. Good girl. So you said by yeah. August, I'll have a new job it, within the next four months, you're saying. Yeah, within the next four months, I have an ex- uh, opportunity being extended, and it looks very promising, and it has elements that appear to be very, very fortuitous for you. It's got diversity, it's got challenge, and it's got something that financially allows you to work. Yeah. Good money. Now, and four months isn't that long. Dear God, I've waited that long. It's the right one. Worth it. You know what I mean? 
Oh, yes. Shelley, what do you've got someone, for? Thank you very oh, much. Oh, my Brian. pleasure, sis. <laughs> well, I agree with Terry Lynn. By August, you'll be working a new job, and it'll be the right and perfect job for you. It won't be far from home, so you won't have to travel a long distance to get to work. It has opportunities for promotion within in the future, within one year's time of starting this job. You'll be promoted, so it looks like you'll get promoted pretty quickly within a year. Um, the people are nice. You know, you're working with some nice people. Mm-hmm. Um, it looks like that it has health benefits as well as a good uh, salary. You know, there's health benefits, so it's a. It looks like it's a, a Dun and Brad company, so it's a, a very high prestige corporate, yeah. corporate company <clears throat> okay. that you'll be uh, working for. It looks like you'll be able to utilize all your skills, and that you'll be also developing and learning new skills on the job as you get promoted. And it looks like you could end up in management in the company that the promotion could that comes up in the year's time involves management. So it looks like you're going to end up climbing the career ladder in the future. And Terry Lynn, mm-hmm. how can Sharon get in contact with you? Sharon, you can call me at 1-800-251-3754 or go to my website, Terry, T-E-R-I, Lynn, L-Y-N-N, can see, C-A-N-S-E-E, of O-F, tlc.com. We'll set up an appointment, talk either car, uh, via tarot card or and astrologically if you want a chart. And, Thank you. And Sharon, yeah. you can oh, get a yeah. hold of me at 818-744-5241 or go to psychichorizon.com. And thank you for calling the Psychic Horizon Show today, Sharon. Thank you. Thank you, both of you. Uh-huh. You're welcome. Terry Lynn, I just wanted to let you know that we have 10 minutes left. Do you have time for another call? We can take another call, and uh, I'll just do it fairly quickly because you're right. Thank you for that consideration. And I, when I do shut off, everybody, please give me a call. I'd love to talk to you. And who do are we going to read for now, Shelley? Um, area code 520. Hello, 520. Oh, hi. Hello. Thank you. This is who do Lisa, hey. calling, Lisa calling you, and I'm a Virgo, too. Thank you. Uh-huh. And what kind well, of card I'm, are you seeking out for? I'm sorry, what kind of... Uh, I have a question. Clarity are you seeking? Okay, thank you. I have uh, a job that I love. I'm an independent contractor, and I, you know, became licensed in that field, and... Uh, Recently, what's developed, there's a particular individual in, individual in that office that is not a boss. They've been given the title, like, advisor, so they're helping. But mm-hmm. a very masculine woman, I mean, extremely masculine and aggressive. And all of a sudden, within the last seven to ten days, maybe, every day, uh, it's like her focus on me is growing and uh, trying to mic- micromanage me, yelling at me in the office, confronting me. And I've had to, you know, stand my ground with her. And mm-hmm. when I'm trying to, and she'll do it in front of everyone. And when I'm trying to explain, you know, very calmly what I've been doing, and and I'm good at what I do, Um She'll interrupt and scream at me, and so, and and then I'll you know respond calmly, you know. Well, let me finish. I'll tell her, you know. And is that going to go away? Is that going to clear up? Good question. Let's take a peek and see. You know the drill. Tell I'm, me when to cut. I'm, I'm prepared to to leave the office. I'm not getting that much support from the superior on this. Okay. Um, well, let's okay, take a peek and see. Tell me when, when to cut. When, Okay, go ahead and cut now, please. Got it. And next cut, ready when you are. Okay. So go ahead and cut now, please. Got it. 
Thank you. Let's see if that's going to change or go down. You're going to be under having to control her negative and positive attributes. You are able to leave if you want because you, you feel that that, that connection's not there. But what you do, you're really good at. You're not wrong. But you do like what you do, and you like the way you step in it. That it's The thing about your job, if you will, is this fluctuality. It's going up, going down. That is difficult for you at times. But I have here you're putting your hand on a lot of new, exciting opportunities. Something comes through the email that just is, ooh, who are you and what are you? It's coming through in the next three months. And by September, you've got your hand on something that appears to be really increasing your finances, really increasing your desire to get to, to be somewhere. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're changing work, and the opportunity that's going to be offered is just, you light up my life. It's fun. Wow. It's wow. Yeah. Wow. Is the woman going to change? She might change, but I have here, she is going through some it looks to me like a meltdown, emotional meltdown. Is she going through a divorce or having problems in that area? She's a masculine woman, so I don't know. Okay. I don't know what goes on with that person. I, I just, uh, oh dear, I, I just, you know, I won't. You don't resonate. Yeah. I won't. You don't resonate. Tolerate it. You know, I'm professional, and I expect professionalism. And besides that, I'm I'm an independent contractor. That's what we all are. Exactly. And and um, so I, you know, rather than spend energy on that, you know, I'd rather just go to another agency doing the same kind of work. It and looks like one might be coming left. up very shortly. What, Shelley? We have five minutes left. Okay, uh, uh, but my point being, yes, you are going to come up for changes, and by September, you're going to be seeing opportunity that really makes you financially much more stable and thank you for sharing oh, wow. time with me shelly pick up our lovely lady here thank you um lisa i feel that this woman is not going to change she has no. emotional problems i feel very you know some kind of something going with her relationship going on with her relationship she's very unhappy uh, okay. She tries to pull her weight around, but she doesn't. But she doesn't have a lot of power. I feel yeah. that if you go above your manager's head, that you may have to go above your manager's head, that you'll get results. You know, from higher. You know, because they do like you, they do value you, and they don't want you to leave. And it is considered job harassment. She is harassing you on the job. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so I feel yeah. like you need to tell them it's job harassment and if they don't do anything about it, you'll be talking to a lawyer. And believe me, when you say that, they're going to do something about it. Yeah. Well, so you better... You better think, do you feel it... Hello? I'm here. Hello? Hello? 